What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole McGuire and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be doing my most highly requested video, which is a review of my Bay's luggage. I've put off doing this video for so long because I just wanted it to be perfect and I've been working really hard on my filming and my editing to make it better and I've just been procrastinating this video so much. I think this is the third time I'm filming it, but Okay, I'm just gonna do it because you guys are asking for it and I want to give you the content that you are requesting. I have had my luggage for over four months now and I've taken it to London, I've taken it to Ireland, I've taken it to Hawaii, I've taken it to quarantine. I have traveled with these everywhere. Don't buy this luggage until you hear my full review. So without further ado, let's get started. But before we do, don't forget to hit that like button, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. The number one question I get about these is how did they hold up? As luggage, they held up amazing. I haven't had any breakages. All of the zippers are still intact. All of the pools are intact. All of the features still work. In terms of general construction, there is only one tiny little dent that was the result of these being taken to so many trips, so many locations, and just being thrown around under the plane. My carry-on, which gets thrown around a little bit less, though I have still checked it, is in pristine condition. Well, the luggage stood up really well, I will specifically talk about the beige color. I think the black will hold up better as a color. There are scuff marks on the luggage that I have tried to buff out with a washcloth and can't. But as you can see from my camera, it's not super obvious. They still look great in pictures. I have not tried a magic eraser or the beige buffer, which I would imagine would work a lot better. So if you guys would like to see me attempting to clean my luggage, drop a comment down below and I will hit these babies with a magic eraser. So the pros of these products, they are so stylish. I get compliments on these all the time. I actually uploaded an Instagram picture and guess who liked it? The owner of the brand herself, Shay Mitchell, liked my photo. That is how stylish these things are. I have to agree, they are beautiful. They are so easy to find when they're coming around the luggage cart. Like they're just very pretty items. I get a huge boost every time I pack or travel with these. The new factor has not worn off and it's been four months because these are so beautiful. My other favorite part of these is that there is room for everything. I brought one checked bag and one carry-on bag to London. I ended up buying so much stuff that I had to check both bags and they're both expandable. So I was easily able to fit everything inside of them, which was awesome. That's probably my favorite feature, but there are so many amazing features to these luggage. Honorable mentions would be the strap that can carry multiple luggage, really helps in the airport. The weighted handle, which has never let me down, and I've gotten 49.5 pounds to a 50 pound weight limit, as well as just all of the pockets. It is so easy to stay organized with these products. To check out all the features that these bags have, go ahead and check out my original unboxing of these suitcases. I go into every nook and cranny of these. So there's really only one con to this item. It is a mid-range luxury item. While it's not gonna be as expensive as a Louis Vuitton bag, it is around $200 for each suitcase. I think they're beautiful to look at. I think it's an investment if you're looking for pretty luggage. I do think it is definitely an extra. So my overall opinion of these bags is that if you can afford them, they are stunning and I love them. They've held up so well. But if you're questioning whether or not the price tag is too high, I'd recommend going to Target or Walmart or TJ Maxx and finding a good sturdy suitcase for a tenth of the price. It is simply down to the cost factor and I think that's something I can't recommend to you. I think it's a individual decision you have to make. I am personally obsessed with this brand. I own a lot of their line. I hope this review was helpful. If you guys did decide to get the luggage, please link me, leave me a comment down below telling me or link me to your Instagram post. I would love to see more Bay's luggage. If you'd like to see more reviews, I'm doing a full review of the Dog and Dover line. I will link the playlist down below when it gets created. Don't forget to check out this video right here, or is it here? I don't know. Check out this video or this video and subscribe here or here. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.